We've already touched on several examples of locking, hiding, and rearranging your artwork here inside of Illustrator, but I wanted to take a moment to specifically talk about how to do that with your layers inside of Illustrator using the Layers panel. So let's open up the Layers panel here for just a moment and drag it out into the document window. And then we'll expand this out so you can see all of the different layers that are available to you inside of this particular file. So anytime you want to hide a layer inside of Illustrator, it's actually very easy. You find the layer that you want to hide and you click the visibility icon out to the left here. So for instance, let's say I wanted to temporarily disable the background layer. I could hide it by toggling that visibility and the background layer will simply just look as though it disappears. Everything is still located on that background layer. You haven't deleted anything. You haven't moved or changed anything in any way. Basically, all you've done is you've temporarily hidden it from view. Everything remains. If you click it again, it comes right back. So why might you want to change the visibility of a layer? Well, if there's something behind that layer that you need to get access to, or maybe you just don't want to manipulate or change the current layer in any way, changing the visibility of that layer is actually a pretty good way to ensure that it remains the same no matter what you're doing at any time on screen. So for instance, when I'm working on something like a mobile application or a website mockup, there are things in the design that I don't want to change once I have them set. Things like the background elements, the status bar, maybe anything that references almost like browser Chrome or things like that. So all of that comes into play and they're all objects that I want to remain static throughout the design. In addition to changing the visibility, you can also lock a layer. Locking the layer ensures that no changes can be made to it, but you can still see it at any given time. So for instance, let me grab my zoom tool here and I'll zoom in on this top left area just by clicking and dragging across it. And as you can see here, I have several different things going on on this particular screen. I've got some guides that tell me how big the actual screen size is, in this case 640 by 360. I've also got this status bar that represents part of the phone UI that I couldn't change even if I were writing an app. I've got this bottom part down here which is based on an Android device for the back button, the home button, and the switcher button down there. And so all of that information I think needs to stay on screen at all times so that I know what it looks like and how it meshes with my design, but I don't want to accidentally click on it and change it and have to revert back and things like that. So it makes sense to me that I should be able to just temporarily lock those layers to make sure I can never make changes to them again. So let's see how to do that. I'll switch to my selection tool over here in the toolbar and I'll just click on one of these items to see what layer it's on. And so in this case, when I click on this, you can see that the screens layer has been highlighted. And what I'll do is I'll zoom out just a little bit so that I can see what happens if I hide this layer. So if I change the visibility here, you'll notice that a lot of stuff disappears. If I turn it back on, you can see everything that comes back. See how big of a difference that is? That's not giving me a good representation of what the phone user interface is going to be. So changing the visibility of these layers really doesn't make sense. However, if I were to lock these layers, that means I cannot make any changes to them. So if I zoom in once again and pan over and try to click on this black bar to do anything to it, I can't. As you can see, I'm clicking and dragging and it's just bringing up a selection. It's not allowing me to change it, move it, or select it in any way. So that's why you might want to lock it. You can unlock a layer at any time simply by clicking the lock icon and it will then be active and you will be able to manipulate it or change it in any way you need to. In addition to that, you can also remove layers. So many times I'll use layers while I'm designing something, especially layers that contain guides like the ones you see here. But later on when I'm showing it to a client, all of this just sort of seems like extra information they really don't need to know or see. So I could hide those layers or if I've saved out a copy, I could just get rid of those layers altogether. So in order to delete a layer, you select it in the layers panel come down to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the delete selection button. When you click on that, it's going to come up with a confirmation box. In that confirmation box, it's going to say, guides contains artwork. Are you sure you want to delete this layer? That just means, hey, you're not deleting an empty layer here. You actually have stuff on it. If you're confident that it's okay to delete the layer, go ahead and click yes. Once you click yes, everything that was contained in that layer now disappears. If I zoom back out to fit this design to the screen, you can see there are no guides present on this design. If I undo that by pressing Command Z on the Mac or Control Z on the PC, you'll see that my guides actually come back up here in the top left hand corner. I can redo the deletion of that guide layer by holding down the Shift key and pressing Command or Control Z. That way, the guides disappear and that guides layer is also gone. 
At the end of every one of my designs, I will actually go through my layers panel, make sure I don't have any empty layers or layers that aren't really needed anymore. And then I'll either delete those layers or I'll move the content from those layers to another layer and then I'll delete the layer after the fact. But in most cases, it's a good idea to go through and clean up your layers panel, whether it be through locking, hiding, or deleting layers so that you can quickly and easily access the parts of your design that matter most.